Hello, welcome back to the x 11 Road to Glory series, where in the last episode we managed to beat Corinthians by three goals to nil in the first leg of the Osmond League Cup. And in this, this episode, we're we'll taking on the early league leaders and probable league favourites, the strongest squad in the division in Sham. It's going to be a very difficult game, as you'll see in a moment when you see their squads. Sham have a very strong squad with Cornelius Hawks, their goalkeeper, one of the best in the division, a very good defensive pair of Juliana and Paro and Fortunato Cortez, a midfield duo of Fabio Merco and Julio Minto, which are two of the best in the division, and a half decent striker in Jonathan Sidwell up front. His team is a lot stronger than ours, and he plays in a way that ensures it's very difficult to break them down with those two heading defenders meaning that they only need to tighten up their big weakness to make them sort of invincible. We are the weaker side here, so we have a very tough task. Let's check on the team news. Knights line up in a 4-5-1 formation with Ant Connolly in goal. A back four, Pim Madacris, Ned the King, Aquila Santa Maria and Pedro Miramontes. Midfield five of Reyta Sao Eta, Sergei Kivyakovsky, Alvito Roba, Wei Junior and Raymond Hargreaves. And front low man of Celso Mota. Sham line up in a 3 5 2 formation with Cornelius Horsch in goal, a back three of Henrik Furchik, Ildefonso de Castro, and Fortunato Cortez. Midfield five of Julian Minto, Yanario de Salazar, Fabio Merco, Murray Vimes, and Bento Barrera. A front two of Jonathan Sidwell and Carl Frederick Endral, a new signing recently. Let's go live to the supermassive black hole for the match. <laughs> Captains for this match are Ledley King for Knights of Sardinia and Fabio Mirko for Sham. The referee for today's match is Manuel Fiku's skill 2, harshness 8. Knights are in the red strip playing from left to right, Sham are in the blue strip playing from right to left. The other match of the division will see P4AH take on Blue Force who are now manager this following Michael Washington's decision to move to the Dream Team FC in Division 3. The King Punks are taking on Deep and Real El Madrid are taking on Gorgie Fizzle in a big early game, which could be an interesting outcome between the two. So anyway, we need to focus on this game now. We're taking a sham with most of the history for Balcoa satellites. And the game is underway. As the Knights have a good amount of possession here. We've dominated the possession, but Sham's got the ball a little bit here and starting to get into the game a bit more. They've got a chance. This is Robert Sapp from Julian Minto. And Sham have taken the lead against the other place somewhat. Well, they've got a the new ball, but Sham taking the lead for a spectacular long range shot from Julian Minter. That's a bad start for Knights. We need to get back in the game. We've got a chance here with Ray Sasaretta. And it sells over the crossbar. Ray wasted his chance to equalise for Knights. 31 minutes played. So most of their management has been under Romanian history. Their current manager only took charge last season, so he hasn't got to grips with the team for very long. He's been out of the game for a while, so. His manager rating is deceptively low than it should be. Anyway, that's the end of the first half. And after that first half, both shot teams have had one chance apiece, but Shabba in the lead. That's bad news for us. We need to get back into the game, hopefully in the second half. In the crucial match in the division, Real Air Madrid are joined 2-2 against Gorgi Thistle, so that's going to leave us in the relegation zone as things stand. Kiara is going to replace Alvito Roma, who is fair to say has been quite disappointing so far this season. But the this all provides a change to allow us to get back into this game. Juliano Amparo is going to come off a of Fortich, so they're stripping their defence to try and counteract our change. Alia Farrow on Viano just says that, so they're stripping their midfield as well. This is going to be an interesting second half here. Knights have uh, got a chance in the 67th minute with a powerful wish on goal by Pinman de Crease. That's made a leg save by Cornelius Haunch. Shannon's gone through several different managers since Amindo coach was sacked, and hopefully they've got a bit of stability now here. Frankie Garner off a of Fortunato Cortez for Sham. And we've got a free kick in a dangerous position here. Now Pedro Miramontes hasn't had the best of seasons, but he's got a free kick straight goal here! And missed the goal by Hare's breath. Real Air Madrid have taken the lead against Gorgi Thistle, so they are now completely joint top of being stands. But we are under pressure here, we're losing 1-0, despite the fact that Shadow have had only one chance throughout the entire game. How many of has been injured for them? We're running out of time here, can we get an equaliser? Missed direction kick on own goal by Fabio Merco, it's excellently saved by Cornelius Holch! That might be our last chance as we have a game of few chances here and we've lost. We have been defeated by Sham who are the league leaders in the division by a single goal to nil in very unfortunate circumstances after we conceded from our only shots. Although it does highlight some problems. Then the King was the man of the match for us 
and Cornelius Horch was the man of the match for them, which I think says a lot really, considering we had much more chances than Sham did. Wow, well, where to go from here is becoming quite apparent that we have a bit of a Achilles heel in our goalkeeper, Ant Connolly, who's still only 21 years old and 9 skill, which is probably a bit too weak for Division 5, which is very problematic. But to add to that, our attacking force seems to really struggle to score goals, although, to be fair, we were up against a very good goalkeeper in Cornelius Holch, who, while he didn't make the team of the week, had the equal amount of skill to the goalkeeper who made the team of the week, and so he was going to be very difficult to beat. I reckon Sham are going to be right up there come the end of the season. They've certainly proven they've been a very strong team and will definitely be in contention for promotion at the end of the season. Team of the week is Charlie Sanders of the King Punks in goal, a back four of Peter Falcon of the King Punks, Ledley King, Knights of Sionia, Morris Dayton of the King Punks, and Rodrigo Leonardo, P4AHFC, a midfield of Julian Minto, Sham, Gerard Maybon, P4AHFC, Hugh Warren, P4AHFC, and Rory McCoy, Gorgi Fissel. A French of Jonathan Sidwell, Sham, and Amancio Guerra, the King Punks. Sham's manager got manager of the round, and given both managers got a five star for their tactics, that isn't too much of a surprise, really. So, after that round, things aren't looking too good for our start so far. Sham lead the division on seven points, but tied with Real El Madrid, only ahead on goal difference. Real El Madrid beat Gorgi Fisson on a 3 2, while Sham beat us by a single goal to nil. P4 AHFC have moved up to third in the division after a 4-0 victory over Mangelus Blue Force, while the King Punks drew 0-0 against Deep, so they are in 4th place. They are only 1 point ahead of us though. Gorgi Fissel dropped to 5th following their defeat to Real Madrid, and they are in our next game. That's a massive match this early on in the season. I am not looking forward to it, I must admit. Nice and Sardinia drop into the relegation zone on 3 points. Deep move up to 7th, Blue Force drop to the bottom of the division, both on 1 point each. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be playing Corinthians in the Cup, after which we've got a massive league game at home to Gorgi Fissel. We've probably our best chance to beat them at home in the next round of matches. We also get to find out who our Cup round opponents are for the next round, since we're almost certainly through against Corinthians. See you then.